All right, welcome back everybody. Anybody that's new here, glad you could join me today. Uh, obviously from the thumbnail and title and description, uh, we're gonna talk about making use of a junk cooler. Um, well, necessarily wasn't junk, but they make these still. So you guys can actually go buy these just about anywhere. Um, if I can find it online, I'll link it in the description. They should be dirt cheap. Um, don't spend a lot of money on this thing. Um, if you can find them like I did, I think I pulled mine out of a dumpster somebody threw away. There was nothing wrong with it that I seen and what makes better fishing cooler than free. <laughs> so stay tuned. Hopefully I can help you guys save those minnows. Okay. So I'm going to save you guys the whole process of what I had done. Um, I had bought stuff previously. So like what I used to have for this was, uh, I got this from the bait shop that I go through lakeside bait and tackle. I don't know if he still has those, but they should. Uh, these are the 110 air bubbles. So instead of uh, battery powered, these ones plug in. It's a nice little portable thing, plugs right into there. Uh, and then uh, what I used to use with it was this hose. You can see I've been using it for a while and I've been meaning to do a video on this. So I'm sorry if it's a little late for you guys. But this works great for ice fishermen, stuff like that. Anybody who buys minnows, like two, three dozen, and you don't want to waste them. They tend to die pretty quickly if you just throw them in a bucket or something. But uh, all you're going to need is a piece of air hose, some 110 bubbles. If you want, you can get away with... I got away with this little guy for a while. It's a tiny little air stone. So this goes into this. This goes into this, if you've never put air supply together before. Um, and then obviously, like I said, this one plugs into here. The reason I had this set up in the beginning uh, with this cooler was so that it was portable. So like if you go on a trip or something, you want to bring a bunch of minnows along. Say you're staying somewhere for three or four days, like a cabin or a friend's house or you know a resort or something like that. You don't want your minnows to die and you have them in a bucket normally or you put like the little aerator in the bucket and the batteries die, whatever this just tends to work out better so the ability to just plug this in and have uh good you know fresh recirculating air in your minnows keeps them lively lively and then obviously they don't die um what i picked up today were a couple of things to upgrade this thing so i've got an actual 10 gallon aquarium pump this is probably way way overkill for what i need it for but I wanted to make sure that this was good. And this is actually like one of the smaller pumps. They make these for, obviously if you have aquariums, you know, uh, 10 gallons isn't that big. I have friends with thousand gallon aquariums. <laughs> so this is uh, this is pretty small. It's very affordable. I think it was like 15, 20 bucks or something like that. And then I wanted to try this. So what I had been doing was using this guy right here, uh, this setup in here and what i would just do is i would fill this up fill here you know run the minnows in there for a while and some of them would die still um and i knew it was because of the nitrates and ammonium and stuff built up so what you do is you empty the water out and refill it and you do that once a week and it becomes a pain in the butt if you forget because if you forget all your minnows die that brings me over to this um it's a very small aerator or uh, whatchamacallit filter uh, for a standard four gallon tank this thing it might go four gallons i don't know offhand it doesn't say on it but i know that's a five gallon bucket and this is less than that so like if i filled that it would overflow this so this might be this might be exactly four gallons which would actually be perfect for this okay so little odd view here that I happen to find works out here, but I just wanted to be able to kind of point things out and show you guys. I'll show you some more close-ups and stuff like that. Uh, the reason I turned this on even, um, I forgot to film the whole process, sorry, but I will go through exactly what I did. I uh, kind of like what I did with my boat uh, build. I want to be able to help you guys make use of these things. So the big thing here is I bought this stone this is a nice long stone. It's the same thing as the little guy right here. Um, but this one has, you know, was it like 10, 12 inches of bubbles? Um, that allows me to 
keep bubbles circulating, which you want uh, moving water, basically. when Whenever you have minnows and stuff like that, you want moving water. Um, I had to make a small little bracket here. And like I said, I'm going to show you guys some uh, close-ups. I just want to kind of give you an overview of everything before I started this thing up. And um, I'll, I'll tell you why I'm going to run it without minnows for a minute here. Okay, so I, I just wanted to give you guys a close-up so you can see how big my hand is. You can see how big this all is. Uh, so that's the stone. And then you guys are going to ask. So this is, this is the airline um, replacement for this because this thing was getting dirty. I, I kept it just in case I needed backup. But... Uh, the old air supply is that 110. That's the new one. Uh, that's the one that I was showing you right here for 10 gallon aquariums. Um, obviously, like I said, it's overkill, but I wanted really good bubbles. Big thing with keeping uh, minnows alive is one, really good oxygenated water. Two, cold water. You want very cold water. So this is in uh, on a cement floor underneath here. So this stays nice and cold. Um, I made it just like that so that I won't ever actually like push this shut so that you know that'll let fresh air circulate in and out and then like I was trying to show you guys before so this is that filter um, right there got a little filter in there what it does is the pumps down here so you have to fill the water line up past this point right here at least um, and then that will pump water out through there and then filter it now, the only reason I went and added myself a filter here was because what was happening is you can kind of see it. So that's stained like that. I've cleaned this a couple times now and it's stained like that. And that's that ammonia buildup from minnows and they have dirty little buggers. So if you're trying to keep them from extended periods of time for like two, three weeks or whatever, having a filter like this, I'm, I'm putting money on it that it's a good idea. And what I did is this has just got like a little... Uh, it's meant to hang over glass, I think. Just like a little loop thing there. Um, I just took a little piece of band, uh, steel or whatever, and then screwed it in loosely there, hooked it on, and then made sure that it was tight enough, not going to fall off, and then tighten those down by hand a little bit. Nice part about having a junk thing like this is uh, you can drill holes like that straight through it and put screws like that in there, and you're fine. Uh, the biggest thing is, obviously, if you drill a hole all the way through it, don't fill the water level past there. That's probably a, uh, goes without saying. One thing I had done to here that you guys can just barely see here is I actually screwed some Velcro to the front of this thing because on the bottom of this, this is a little tip, on the bottom of this I used to have Velcro here. Um, so basically, like, like I was saying, if you're in like a hotel room or you're in a cabin or something like that that you're renting or staying somewhere, that could Velcro to this and then you could just run the tubing out through and in. And then it's kind of like a self-sustained unit. You just got to find an outlet to set it down next to. Um, which I still want to... I'm going to replace the Velcro on that one. And basically that's going to be solely for the purpose of like travel. But for the most part, I just want to be able to keep these minnows alive here. Okay, so you guys seen all of that stuff. Now, I need to do this. I'm going to fill this up. Hopefully this is enough. Okay, so that was uh, probably about two gallons that I put in there. I'm going to say that's a four-gallon container. Okay, so now it's full. Uh, I buried the, I put the pump an inch under the water and uh, I'm actually going to close this just in case that squirts out pretty bad and then uh, plug these guys in here. Okay, so I have it on and I'll bring you guys down here to show you. Okay, so that's that looks like it's running pretty good. Uh, air bubbles are doing okay. Um, looks like that stone needs to be worked in a little bit because it's not quite pushing air all the way to the end of it. But sometimes that has to work. Uh, like I said, it has to work its way in. This filter's uh, 
running water through it pretty well. Now the big thing here was I was just kind of curious to see how loud that is. And uh, and actually if I, what it was is it was kind of loud because it was up against the wood there. But if I have it away from the wood and the cables aren't touching anything, um, it's actually really quiet. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot quieter than my other one. Um, and I can use that. And there you go, nice and quiet. And that'll keep your minnows alive and fresh for a very long time. All right, guys. So hopefully that helps some of you guys save some money this year. Um, obviously, if money's tight or if you just don't want to deal with stopping and getting minnows all the time, uh, this is going to be a lifesaver. I've been using it for a long time, actually, like long, long time. I just forgot to film it. And the biggest thing was is like I had already put it together forever ago. And it was one of those things like I just never thought to bring it up for you guys. But I was like, man, what could I help you guys out with this week? I want to just help you guys out with something. And, uh, yeah, it's a real simple one. Um, it's a minnow bait bucket, basically. Uh, you can use any cooler. I just use that short, uh, small one, that four-gallon. Uh, that's good for about, I would honestly say, like, that setup is probably good for about three dozen fatheads. Um or like a dozen shiners, uh, maybe five, six suckers or something like that. I wouldn't put any more than that in there. Um, I wouldn't go get like four dozen minnows and stick them in there because they'd still probably overrun the filter system and probably not get enough oxygen yet. Um, you need a big tank for that. You need like a 50 gallon or something like that. But you could potentially use a 50 or 100 gallon cooler and then you just got to get the bigger pumps, the bigger stuff. And uh, basically you're making a you're making an aquarium for your fish but at that point you might as well just go buy a 50 or 100 gallon aquarium and then that way you can keep an eye on your fish and you know make sure they're staying clean and all that stuff and treat the water you can get all deep and stuff in that but either way i hope today's video helped you guys out i hope you guys enjoyed it and obviously if you're not new here you know what's up but if you are new can you please just remember to